morning, beautiful people! We drove from Mendoza to San Martin de los Andes, but we first stopped in Neuquén, where a beautiful couple was waiting for us and invited us to spend a few days together. This video is about people, is about tradition, and it's about food. Enjoy Argentina, enjoy this video, guys. We drove for 900 kilometers from Mendoza to Neuquén and now we arrive at the Monique and Luis house they wrote us they said us if you are coming here please uh, come and say hello we just made the live the one of last uh, Sunday and we are still really uh, we yeah. were so scared we were so nervous uh, we had so anxious uh, but uh, guys uh, thank you thank you thank you it was amazing uh, two hours uh, with you guys uh, thank you for the support incredible uh, thank you so much it was amazing we arrived yesterday here in Neuquén and um, this amazing couple they prepare an asado for us esto es carne esto es costi esto es un pedacito del costillar de la vaca we are, we are preparing an asado argentino, a typical one. He's explaining us all the different parts of the... It's not a cow, right, Luca? How is the name? It's the different parts of the bull. And the bull here is a special bull. Novigio. Novigio. Novigio argentino. Which is different from the la vaca. La vaca da la leche. So the vaca da la leche. Se puede hacer un corte. Pero el que hace la carne... It's a novicio. The cow is what makes milk. Mm -hmm. This kind of uh, novicio is what gives you the real tasty and good meat. Okay, so we have different type. What is this? This is uh, the leg, okay. this part of the leg. This is the, the tostado, ribs? the ribs. And this is uh, pork. Luisa was explaining me that uh, it's uh, really important uh, the kind of wood uh, you use. Uh, if you are using uh, wood or coal, it can change the taste of the meat, uh, the flavors are different. Uh, so the wood uh, you use to start the fire, it's really important. Here in Argentina, to make the barbecue, to make the asado, uh, uh, parrilla. It's a ritual, it's something uh, that uh, brings people together and makes them stay together for hours and hours. They can drink, they can talk, they can uh, stay together. So it's a big uh, ritual that they love here. We have one layer, second layer of the the brasa down there and uh, Luisa is from uh, Tierra del Fuego and it's really cold uh, down there so what he usually does uh, he covers uh, like that so the taste uh, and uh, the cold wind uh, will not stop the meat from cooking Sana here tonight. We're going to try a real large Italian asado. Nice. Uh, we're going to try it. Wonderful meal. It's going to be great. Buon provecho. Buon provecho. Gracias. Cheers, beautiful people. We'll enjoy this amazing dinner and uh, we'll catch you later. So now we will show you the amazing couple, we will show you where we left uh, Lucky Liu. We are just here in front of their house. Okay, I'm coming, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the place where we slept last night and where we did our first live. See, we were parked just in front of Luis and Monique's house. 
Okay, Luca is closing Lucky Liu. The sun is shining, it's a wonderful day here in Argentina. We enter officially in Patagonia, guys. We are in the northern Patagonia, so as you can see, Patagonia is not always, it's not always freezing. <laughs> Could be warm and hot also here, especially in the north. Amazing the life. Yeah. Really, really. I, we got worried at some point in the video yeah, because it froze, the screen yeah, froze. Yeah, they go up. We were running upstairs to check the modem. We were doing our first live just in front of their home using their Wi-Fi connection. Wow! So you see. Hello, Hello everybody. <laughs> okay, this is Monique. Hello, Hello everybody. Hello. And this is Louis. Hello everybody. Hola todos. <laughs> Today it's just the leftovers from last night, yes. unfortunately. Oh, but we love this. So, uh, Monique we we show the images from last night. We show the images. Yeah. Uh, Monique is from the Holland, Netherlands. From the Netherlands, and Luis is from uh, originally from from Ushuaia, right? Sure. From Patagonia. We are in Patagonia. So. I'm waving there to myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now they prepare us uh, a lunch. So we have dinner together, breakfast together, lunch together. We are really lucky, guys, to be here in Twebs this kind of support thank Just you so much finished a wonderful first life yeah. <laughs> they were so they were watching at the live here and we were just outside and say oh if something goes wrong just wave at us come to us and say what is <laughs> <laughs> no you guys we're did great right. it was a big success I'm very you happy for you to say something to the channel these are wonderful people. We are so happy to receive them in our house, to have met them. They're in real life, they're exactly as they are on the channel. They're perfect, they're wonderful. In Spanish, viva la vida, hermosos conocerlos, que lleguen hasta Ushuaia, que disfruten la Patagonia y sigan disfrutando un montón de otros viajes más. Encantados de tenerlos en casa. I think in one year, they will start oh, yeah. traveling, ah, probably yeah. with a jeep. So mm, we will we can see the here. other way around, from the south to the north. So they have this uh, uh, canyon is 96 uh, Jeep uh, Cherokee, and they want to buy a trailer like a, yes. a roulotte. Si. Like a casa de and we, I would like to show all the people also this beautiful dog, Ica. <laughs> Yeah. She's so cute. Yeah. They Dona. adopted her. Yes, when she was uh, last year, right? Four years. When she, she was, was four years old. She was four years old. And now she's she, super hot. She super is hot. lovely. Yeah. Yeah, now we will show you how the real Argentinians do the mate. Esto es el mate en Argentina. Ese es un de calabaza. Donde se toma el mate. Amargo. This is used to drink mate. Uh, in this mate, it's called mate as well. It is served. Mate is what we are drinking, and mate is the name of the glass yes. that we are using. Okay. The calabaza, how is the calabaza? Uh, 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 pumpkins. Se pone pumpkins. Mate. Y esto se tapa y se corre a un costado. Okay. So this is called the yerba which is like a, a strong tea and you pour it in and then you tap it with your hand, you shake it so that yeah. the, the dust goes away and then you put it on one side. And the temperature of the water should be like... 90 degrees. Okay. 90, 90 degrees. degrees. 90 degrees. Se moja un poquito la mitad del mate. Si. Sí. Se agarra la bombilla. You don't pour it over the whole se thing. Se Okay. Then y you se pone del lado seco. Entonces se pone de este costado. Y se toma el mate. So then you insert the bombilla, the straw, which sí. is used to drink the mate, mm -hmm. and then you pour water, water. on the other side again. <laughs> sí. Ay, ay, you no, no tiene que esperar, you don't wait. No, se toma. No. Se toma así. If you don't wow. boil the water, ¿Sí? if it's the right temperature, you don't have to wait. Okay. In the beginning, stupid ah. Dutch person, <laughs> I <laughs> boiled the water and it was too hot. And then, yeah, <laughs> that's hot. Enjoy yourself. Un poquito. 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 Un
un sorbito. Oh. It's very bitter. Es yes. como tabaco. No, oh, no, 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 no. Eso no es un Por eso no, está muy fuerte porque es segundo. It's really, really, really strong. It is an acquired taste, but also, like he said, the first few sips are strong. Okay. If you pour a bit more water and you usually give it around in a circle, then it, it, it's not that strong anymore. Strong. It's really strong. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel the same. I feel some tobacco. It has no tobacco in it. Hmm. Yeah, but tobacco is, uh, is leaves. Uh, is it's like, also uh, leaves, yes. The same. So. My, my father, he used to smoke the pipe, oh. out of the, la pipa. And um, if I taste, uh, if I put just the pipe yeah. uh, off uh, on my mouth, I could taste the, the taste of wood uh, and um, Tobacco. But you have a lot of people who drink it with, they pour sugar mm -hmm. on top of it, like you put in your tea. Yeah, I, I would be one I, of those. The person who serves the mate drinks it first and then when you, you can hear there's no longer water in here. Yes. Uh -huh. You return it to that person yes. and it goes on to the next. So the mate cup is made with uh, pumpkins the vegetable and this one is covered with uh, some uh, leather beautiful they say like uh, okay let's go and drink some mate it means let's go and uh, sit down and talk and uh, spend yeah spend yes. time together vamos a hacer el tereré es una bebida refrescante en base a la yerba mate sí con jugo y mucho hielo right now uh, luis is showing us uh, how to make uh, te Terere. It's made with uh, mate leaves, uh, with grapefruit, uh, a lot of ice uh, because it has to be really, really cold. No es como el mate. El mate es agua a temperatura 90 grados. El terere es frío, como un té frío, como tomar un mate frío. So as you can see, this mate, uh, it doesn't need to be hot water, it's all made with uh, really cold water. Limon. With some uh, lemon. More ice, more ice, really cold. Tienes que esperar ahora. No. So you don't need to wait. Uh, you can drink straight away. No, yeah, refrescant. Really refreshing uh, drink. Uh, my turn. Let's taste. Oh, sí, eso me gusta ah. mucho más. I like this one. So the hot mate, it's really uh, bitter really bitter. This one is really su sweet, uh, so I like this one. Mm. <laughs> muy, muy bueno. Gracias, Luis. Okay, Sara, taste the terere. Terere, I like the name, terere. It's like a song. A ti te gusta el terere. Terere, terere, terere. Mm. Bueno. Muy rico, sí. Eso. This yeah. is really different from the mate uh, this morning. It's sweeter, now nah, it's fresh, so we can enjoy more, and it's not so bitter, so you can enjoy. It's like a cocktail. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Cheers, terere. Usually we don't cook so much in our videos, but we are in Argentina and we are learning so much during this day, cooking all the typical plates of Argentina. And tonight we are gonna cook. Matambra la pizza. You need to say a little bit in Italian way, matambra la pizza. <laughs> and I, I would like to add uh, that here in Argentina, eating meat, uh, it's something really traditional. Yes. They eat uh, so many kinds of uh, meat and wow. <laughs> this is, is the vaca. Matambra de vaca, de novillo. Look at that. I never see something like this. <laughs> Luisa is going to be making a pizza with this meat. Instead of using the bread, the crust, the meat. So this is the first time for us. Monique is preparing the salsa that is getting on top of the meat. What did so you put frito, in the salsa? Garlic, 
onions, salt, ají molida, um, chili pepper, chili like pepper, and... oregano, olive and, oil, and tomato sauce. And, now... and we'll add tomato sauce. Hambre yeah. del novillo, el lado de la grasa y el lado de la carne. So this one is the belly of the cow and it's really thin. So to cook it now, he will roll it up, roll it up like a wrap. Del lado de la grasa. Of the side of the grease, because it has to cook slowly. So it doesn't uh, get dry, it doesn't cook so fast. Hey Monique, uh, first of all, thank you very much for uh, the hospitality. Yours and uh, Luis. You were talking about uh, your dream uh, together with uh, Luis uh, to yes. start traveling. Our plan, we currently have a Jeep that we love to go off-road driving, 4x4. Four four. So we're still not sure if we want to buy a motorhome, a camper van, or buy a caravan. A trailer. To go with a trailer awesome. to go with a Jeep. But anyway, the most important thing is that we want to travel. We want to, we love to travel, we love to meet people, we love to socialize. And I've had the opportunity to travel quite a bit, Luis, not yet, but yeah. The idea is that within a year we want to go, we're currently in the south of Argentina, so there's only one way, up north. <laughs> And we go to the north and after that we'll see. What do you think about uh, what we're doing? I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait for you to put up videos. <laughs> I think you should put up one a day. <laughs> no, I really enjoy it. And having had you guys here for a couple of days, it's been amazing. Just everything you experience on this trip. And that's exactly what we want to do. That is what we're hoping for. And do you think that we inspire you in a certain Absolutely. way? Absolutely. Yeah? I was always like, oh, we have to think about this, organize this, do that. And now that I've met you guys, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> I want to go. I can't wait anymore. No, seriously. Uh, not just asking you questions, how to do this, how to do that, but just listening to you guys, how you experience this, this, these almost three years and what you've learned and things you've encountered and that's, yeah, to me, that's life. Son bienvenidos siempre! Ipa? Hola, chica. Ipa, Luis, and Luis and Monique. The family. The family. We can wait. Who will be on the road soon. Exactly, we can wait. <laughs> this uh, sauce is called uh, tuco. Then we are going to put the, the, the cheese. cheese. Queso cremón. Wow, and you? Okay. Now you can understand why this is called a pizza. Because it's kind of a pizza. But instead of the dough, we are using the meat. Hello, beautiful people. Okay. I'm a good helper. Okay. Said. Because Luis is the boss. He is the asadero. The asadero is the one that is preparing and cooking the meat. Yeah, usually. I, I would not be able to do this uh, because the asadero is the only one allowed to touch the meat. The asadero is the one eating on this plate here. Yes. So, let's, let's go, go, Luga. Let's go. let's go, Luga. Better than the chef. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> chef Italiani. Go, Luga. Go, Luga. El madambre italiano, la pizza. <laughs> this oh, is no. really important, guys. No le daña. Don't, don't. Oh. Ah. No. Double, double. Double, queso, double. Queso, 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 queso. Okay, and this is the special touch. Finishing touch. Oregano. This. <laughs> wow, Sara. Beautiful. Oh. I have a house for the last one. I like it. So guys, this is the new recipe. Meat with queso, sauce.
sauce, oregano, a lot of oregano. Mm, enjoy, provecho. We spent wonderful days uh, together with uh, Luis, Monica and Ipa. Now it's time to go ahead, we will see you in San Martin de los Andes, other 500 kilometers. Sorry for all the vegetarians and vegans that are watching our videos, we just want to show the culture of this country, that's Argentina, and asado meat is part of the, of the culture. Tradition of country. and yes. country. We are trying to consume meat just once a week, and we are trying to reduce the consume of the meat because we care about our planet, we care about the animals as well. So guys, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And please consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. We love you guys, we appreciate you. We hope that you enjoy our contents. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Muchísimas gracias, Luisa and Monica. And Ipa as well. <laughs> And see you soon, guys. See you on the next one. Ciao. Ciao. We're not there. Life is beautiful. La vita, La vita bella. bella. Ciao. Ciao.